coal. Yeah, coal's a good example. What's another good example of a fossil fuel? Uh, uh, natural gas. Yep, natural gas. We might as well finish it off. That's good. Oil. Yep, you got it in three. Now it turns out that if you spin coiled wire in a magnetic field, what are you going to produce when iron? Power. Power, right. So I better actually show that. So I'll turn it around this way a little bit. We'll get it spinning and off we go. Well, have you got a thermometer nearby as well? Okay. Yeah, we've got two thermometers, one in each of our jars. Excellent. So you've got the stuff. Now I might just check. Wentworth Falls, have you got your materials to do that experiment? Yeah. An atmosphere. And that traps some of that heat. Traps a bit of it. But if we keep on producing more and more and more carbon dioxide into our atmosphere and other greenhouse gases, we get, well, effectively a thicker atmosphere. And it starts spinning nicely. But it's not connected to our voltmeter. How about we measure how many volts are being produced from the change from light energy into electrical energy, which happens on a solar panel. So if, if the wind was off, what would happen? So here we go. Yeah, we're going. Nice and easy. And as it expands, it starts to spin. So let's show you. There we go. So this is called a radiometer. Put it around like that. Now look at that already. 